يعلم ما في السماوات وما والأرض ويعلم ما تسرون وما تعلنون. He knows whatever goes on in the skies and the earth. You see the constant comparison between the universe and ourselves in the surah. Look at the sky. Look at how much is happening in the sky. Look at how much is happening in the universe. He knows every every millim millisecond and every millimeter of what's happening in the sky and every atom and inside of every atom, every subatomic particle. He knows it directly. He knows it himself. He doesn't know what you're up to. وَيَعْلَمُ مَا تُسِرُّونَ وَمَا تُعْلِنُونَ He knows the things you keep secret. And he knows the things that you expose. There's a very powerful expression in the Qur'an. It demands a little bit of attention in the few minutes I have left. Allah knows the things we keep secret. Allah knows the things we make public. What Allah is telling us is sometimes people really have a deep problem in their faith, but they cover it up with some other words. So what they're saying on their mouths is not exactly what they have in their heart. So Allah says, I know what you keep inside and I know what you're saying with your mouth. And I know the contradiction between the two too. There will be a person, I'll give you an example, I'll call it out just as a, by means of a short example. There's a young student. He's got some friends that are non-Muslim. And they're trying drugs. And they offer him some. First time he says it's haram. Second time he says it's haram. Third time shaitan comes to him and says, Hey, come on, it's not that haram. Go ask the imam. Tell it, ask the imam, You know, uh, imam, I have a friend who says that drugs aren't haram. He won't say, I have a, I'm having that thought. Or my shaitan just gave me a wasp. He says, I have a friend who thinks drugs are okay because they're not mentioned in the Qur'an. Pharmaceutical products by their name have not been mentioned in the Qur'an. Therefore, is it okay? Is it okay to try some of these, these, uh, you know, these pharmaceutical products? And the imam says, no, it's not okay. Then he'll go around and say, you know what? Our imams, they're so backwards. They don't understand modern society and modern chemistry. And therefore they have these outdated fatawa. And he'll give a whole rant about that. But what's really going on in the inside? I really want to try that drug. I really want to try that. What's so wrong with dating anyway? What's so wrong with having a little fun? What's so wrong with this or that? You'll say it in nice ways on the outside, but the real whispers of shaitan that you have submitted to on the inside, Allah knows. You can cover them up on the outside with, when you talk to me or somebody else. You can even cover them up for yourself, but Allah knows what you, that you're even lying to yourself. You can't even be honest to yourself. وَيَعْلَمُ مَا تُسِرُّونَ وَمَا تُعْلِنُونَ وَاللَّهُ عَلِيمٌ بِذَاتِ الصُّدُورِ Allah is completely and fully knowledgeable of what's going on in the chests. What's going on inside here. What feelings you have, what thoughts you have, what temptations you have, what, you know, what evil thoughts you have that you never tell anybody. He knows those too. وَاللَّهُ عَلِيمٌ بِذَاتِ الصُّدُورِ أَلَمْ يَأْتِكُمْ نَبَأُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ قَبْلِ What is wrong with you people? Haven't you seen the news, the news, the events of those who came much before you and how the فَذَاقُوا وَبَالَ أَمْرِهِمْ That those who came much before you and tasted the consequences of their behavior, those news haven't come to you? Allah asked that question in Madani Qur'an. I told you how much of Qur'an has already been revealed? Two-thirds. Makkan Qur'an has already been revealed. Makkan Qur'an is full of stories of previous prophets who came and warned their people and the people made fun of them and then they died and they, they were destroyed. And then on top of that, they're eternally punished in hellfire. And the Muslims are being asked now, you think those stories are just for non-Muslims to read? Haven't those news come to you? أَلَمْ يَأْتِكُمْ نَبَعُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ قَبْلِ haven't you had the news, heard the news of those who disbelieved in the, before? The irony here is Allah is talking to Muslims. But then the Quran talks to Muslims. And He's saying, aren't you afraid of those who disbelieved in the past? Don't you think you should, you'll end up in that place? Why would Allah talk to us as though we're non-Muslims almost? Why is He talking to us like that? Because Allah is warning us of a very serious problem. Faith on the tongue and disbelief in the heart. And he just in the previous ayah said, I know what's going on deep inside your chests. So he's interrogating that and saying, look, they disbelieve with their mouth, but I can see disbelief on the tongue and I can also sense disbelief. I also know disbelief when it's in the heart and it never makes it to your mouth. I even know that one. Take warning of those nations. They tasted the consequence of their decision. وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ